Hello, everyone. Welcome. Pardon my voice. It's a little bit dry today. Ironic, considering the game we're playing. Ha <laughs> ha. Wrong button again. I don't know how I keep mixing those two buttons up. I really don't. Heartwarming. Mm -hmm. I was a, I was taking a sip of water, Lord Cups. Are you trying to kill me? All right then. Well. We'll get Hot started water. right away then. Craig is infinite. First of all, thank you for the gifted sub to Jenny. I have already lost my sense of direction in one aspect. I forgot what the fuck we were doing. <laughs> right. Last time we kind of just cured the Kara in the frozen Leviathan. You know, we just... We, we found uh, we found our sister's antidote hiding under a rock somewhere, slapped it in a machine, and then just d done. That, that that particular leg of the journey's done. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Forgot about that. It was kind of an unceremonious... I have to wonder if that's the actual end of that storyline. I doubt it is, but we'll see. If it is, that's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of an unceremonious end to that particular plot point. Now we need to uh, at least currently the main plot is finding a body for Alan. So that means we have got places to visit. Alan pointed out a bunch of uh, nearby artifacts for us to go take a look at. I'm not sure these three at least I know are new. We'll mark these. We'll go take a look at them first. We also uh. Why did I not put my... Hang on. Why did I not put... I... Okay. So, before I started the stream, I took my sub train out, or my uh, sea truck out, for a bit of a spin. Then I needed to, uh... I, I, needed, I needed to charge it back up, yet apparently, I just left it without charging it, and now I can't repair it. So, hang on a minute. And I'm back in. Right. We also do have... Uh, the big punchy prawn boy. Uh, they are not currently marked, but we do have them. And we don't have a way to transport them. But, uh... Well, once that's finished charging, we'll just take the sea truck back out. Or... We could just walk our happy asses all the way over there. With the prawn suit, might not be the most practical use of our time. We'll wait for our truck to finish charging. Then we'll head out on an expedition. We are already good and stocked up on supplies. I already have a beacon on board the ship. And I don't know why I have the habitat builder with me. I don't think I'm going to be building many habitats when I'm out in the depths. So we're going to leave that behind. So, today, as I said, we're just out. Going to go take a look at some of these here artifacts let's see which one are we going for that one's closer we'll go there i've gotten surprisingly good at underwater drifting into my modules don't ask me how i just have i still gotta drive the modules into the truck on my end nearly destroyed them before trying to back into them it definitely takes some doing uh i wouldn't recommend anybody uh slide into the docks to uh, the modules to dock it's just fun to do. Tokyo drifting is a lot harder to do when you have not only underwater physics, but also vertical, whoops, uh, vertical movement to take into account. So we are entering, uh, by the way, Hot I've heard people uh, remind me that uh, that thing Surprise, that we just heard is called a chillicerate, but I like saying chillicerate more. So I'm going to keep saying Chalicerate. And I don't know where it is. I'm going to keep my defense system active. Yeah, there's the... There's the... Uh, alternatively, we could just call that thing Chelly. The Vent Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Could you sound any less interested, PDA? <laughs> okay. I'll park this here real quick because I'm going to go take a look at the big thing. Nothing mean around me. I say that. <laughs> Man, me without my stasis rifle. Hmm. Uh, uh, is this where we gotta go? Yeah, this is where we gotta go. We gotta go directly downward. I'm gonna back up a bit and find a nice little, uh, nice little corner to just hide my sea truck in. And then just, uh, dash into the depths. Alright, before I move on, 
I do want to scan this. It'd be easier if I got it side. Where are you? Well, you know what? You can't get me if I'm in here. And I do remember you can get inside these things. And I am safe. I think. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I don't have I don't have a lot of oxygen. I don't know if this gives me oxygen. It does not. So, oh, hey, there you are. There you are. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Looking good up there. I think I do need spiral plant for something. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You know, you're just a tiny bit close. Yeah, I do need these for something. I'm gonna need to dash back to my goddamn truck. Okie dokie. Gonna need to lock onto my truck and just go. Yep. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Working on a PDA. Not even gonna turn around. Just gonna get in my truck. I hear no noises of imminent death, so I'm assuming I'm fine. I say I don't say I'm not gonna turn around, and then I immediately turn around. Maybe I should have brought my prawn suit. A smart person would have brought a prawn suit. Because I'm gonna have to go diving. But um, that's gonna require me turning around and going backward about a thousand meters. Hmm. Conundrum. Well, uh, uh other other alternative is I uh, dis is I give put a rain check on this one and go check out one of the other two because at least that one over there is significantly higher than this one and uh, will not require me going into quite as deep a depth. I think we'll do that. I'm already out here. I may as well go this way. And uh, if I have to say hello to Chelly on the way there, then uh, so be it. I do have a defense protocol I'll be fine maybe you just stay right there Chelly stay right there okay okay uh, I believe that's actually another module is that one I already oh I know what this is go away busy fuck off Oh, you did it to me too? Okay, fine. We zapped each other. You happy? We was that our was that basically our version of a handshake? I'm gonna go ahead and say it was. Not, hi, nice to meet you. My name's Sathorvan, and your name is Fuck Off, I don't care. That's right, there were actually some modules around here that I needed to pick up. So uh we'll we'll go exploring. We'll explore around here a little bit. Let me just uh set this thing to fragments. I don't think there's any. There's, I'm not seeing any fragments. Oh, hey, this is mine. No, you can't have it. Uh, you were offering me nothing. Are you just wanting a hug? Well, sorry, you're you're offering me nothing. I can't take nothing. Oh well. <laughs> oh wait, wait, right. Hang on. There was one other thing that I wanted to do. Uh, there was an area of Marguerite's base that I didn't go into yet. Sure, it's open now. Okay, let's take a, a, a closer look around the place. Uh, she's got a pretty nice setup here to be, you know, for for a uh, for an old decrepit base on a on a nearly abandoned planet in the frozen tundra. She's got a pretty decent setup. She she did pretty okay for herself, I gotta say. Not bad in the slightest. Shower, perfect, excellent. Yes, it, small stove. And of course, we need something to cook on. I mean, what are we, barbarians? What, do you think we eat our food raw? Absolutely not. Unless it's like fruit, in which case, maybe. A fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Hmm. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. 
Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the reaper skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this Arctic hell. So we do know at, at least an idea of how Maida survived, how she got cured of Kara in the several years. What is it like 10 years after the first game this one takes place or 20? It's been a while since the first game, but then again, I, I don't know. Maybe the vaccine is, uh, or rather maybe the virus, pardon me, bacterium. I, I literally, none of the two things I said, the first one couldn't have been further away from what it was. The second one was completely wrong too. It's a fucking bacteria. Anyway, not sure how she got cured of Kara. Uh, from the last game because we know she was infected well at least she's taking good care of herself i see the interesting thing is there i apparently am missing a log of metas i'm missing the first one well you got anything else to say nope all right then nice chatting and thank you for letting me uh, roam around and rummage through your stuff have a good one i had a theory right maybe we do know that um uh, some, I forgot, that's not mine. <laughs> we, we do know that, uh, at least some level of, um, what's the word I'm thinking of, uh, augmentation that exists in this continuity, people can replace their dying organs, and I imagine, like, some level of, like, immune system empowerment or um strengthening is possible maybe Maida had that she seems like the type of person who would in her line of work i don't know maybe that's just not explained uh but paul at least paul yeah at least paul in the last game mentioned replacing his liver so maybe Maida had like uh, augments in her system to make her more resistant to uh, bacteria or something like that. I'm not sure. And it just happened to work. Uh, do I need this? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Well, I do need more rubies. I think. At least need some of the stuff down here. Lithium, absolutely. Like, I can literally never have too much of lithium because I am always running out of that goddamn stuff. Although, what I'm also running out of is oxygen. I should probably fix that problem. I'm gonna run back to Meta's base and uh, get a quick gulp. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time down here because I want to go out and explore, see the world, spread my wings, and just enjoy life as it were. Uh, I'll grab a few more of these uh, Uranite crystals. And my inventory's now full. What the fuck was that? It sounded like fucking metal or something. And down we go, back toward my sub, because we have artifacts to hunt down. By the way, can someone confirm or deny I saw a picture? I am dead certain it's a fucking... Speaking of hunting, I was gonna say, speaking of hunting, um... I saw a picture that was basically saying hunt down the freeman 2 was a thing that was happening is that a shit was that just a shit post i have to assume it is because i cannot imagine a world where anybody wanted that to happen is it actually real is hunt down the freeman 2 actually happening <laughs> has god truly ab oh nickel okay uh, um, hold on a second i need to stuff some stuff in my uh, lockers has god truly abandoned us what is Hunt Down the Freeman? A very, very bad, no good, very poor, uh, Half-Life mod? I think it was technically a mod, but it was also a game that was sold for like, what, 25 bucks? 
which then got reduced to 20. I, I have no clue what it's going for right now. But uh, it was so bad that in the state of its release, people literally couldn't beat it without cheating. Uh, essentially really bad Half-Life 2 fan fiction. Complete with edgy main character and everything. Uh, also with some very obvious uh, inspirations from uh, MGS5. Uh, yeah, it was not, it was not good. And now apparently people are saying that a sequel is being made. So I can only assume that God has abandoned us and never, never had any faith in us to begin with. And quite frankly, I wouldn't blame him. I don't need the titanium, but I'll take it because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Okay. So, yeah, down this way. Ow. <laughs> oh, hey. Is that the uh, ultra high capacity tank? Yes, it is. Uh, I already have it, apparently. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Now, I cannot go any deeper, so we're just going to have to leg it from here. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Working on it, big guy. Just give me a moment here to ensure I don't drown while going for this. So I'm going to save just in case. There had better be oxygen plants down here. Well, may as well look around, see what all I'm dealing with and what all there is to find down here. Now hang on a minute. Fuck. Get off of me, you son of a bitch. While you're there, I'm going to just scan you real quick. Hacking. Ah, fuck. Again, really. You know, you're just a tiny bit of a dickhole. And I don't approve. Do you give oxygen? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, back to the truck or I'm gonna die. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm working on it. I need to get up to my thing. Almost there. I'm not gonna drown. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oxygen. Uh-huh. I am here. Okay, we're good. So, uh, change of plans. We are going to go get the prawn suit. We're just gonna have to... Oh, boy, that's a... Oh, boy, that's gonna be a 1,300 meter trek, though. <sighs> no, fuck it. Uh, we also can go make the, high cap the ultra high capacity tank. So, guess we're going back home. Go away. Damn to spend the next 10 minutes trucking back and then walking my happy ass all the way back. Ah, time to hit the old, that's uh, not really dusty, uh, the old, um, uh, moist trail, damp trail, murky trail. All righty then. And we're home. I'm gonna take a moment to repair my boat, ship, truck, thing that I use to go from point A to point B, restock on some water, which I should have around here somewhere, or not. Okay, I mean, I have plenty of water, so it's not that big of an issue, and I can make more with these plants, so not too worried. Ah, I need four lithium, you say? Well, <laughs> ain't it ain't it just peachy keen that I picked up a shit ton of lithium from that area? Okay, so we do have the ultra high capacity tank, which gives us 180 seconds of oxygen, so it's been slightly nerfed from the old one. Oh, 180 seconds on top of your 45. Uh, let me let me see. Is that the case? Oh, once it uh oh yeah, it is. It's on top of my 45 seconds of lung capacity. Okay, that's how the math works. I'm stupid. Can we, can we get a comp... Can we get a compilation of all the innocent fish you brutally ran with your truck? I, there are far too many to count, and I'm pretty sure I deleted a lot of footage in which I did, because uh, a lot of it was in episodes that have already been aired, and uh, a lot of travel time is cut out of a lot of those videos, so I guarantee there's a bunch I missed. Okay. So we have this, um, <clears throat> I guess we're just going to take my prawn suit all the way out there. 
Oh, wow. Wait, you only have 400 meters of... Oh, wow. I need to upgrade this thing. Uh, I think, actually, that artifact is too deep even for the prawn suit. Yeah, because it only has 400 meters of crush depth. Huh. Can I upgrade that yet or have to find the, the module upgrade? I probably have to find the depth module upgrade. Oh, no, we can make it. Uh, we need three ruby synthetic fibers and enameled glass. Well, hell, 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 I can just go ahead and make all that, I think. We need the lead, we need the glass, and, uh, yeah, we have the synthetic fibers. Um, we need diamond. How do I make the enameled glass? There we are. Uh, we needed three ruby. Okay. Oh, and, uh, what do we need to make the drill arm? Uh, okay, I have everything I need to make that. I'm pretty sure I already made... Oh, wait, I did not make the thermal reactor because I do not have kyanite. Okay, there's the drill arm. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, it is still a bit of a chunky boy, so it's not going to be super fast. It's not the most expedient form of travel that we have at our disposal. I guess we're just going to start uh, thumping our way over there. Okay, 700 meters. Much better. Well, time to begin the trek. Gonna be a long one, folks. Get comfortable. I think I have uh, some other music to put on here. Uh, let's see. There is a carrier for the prawn suit unfor uh, for the truck. Unfortunately, we do not have it. So we're just gonna have to be hauling our fat ass all the way over there. Mr. X's day out. <laughs> For people who are not aware, I actually did name my prawn suit Mr. X. So what we are witnessing right now is Mr. X's day on the job. Just walking his way. This is his commute. He just stomps his way across the ocean floor. Hey, he's walking i I'm probably going to run into a Chelly here sooner or later. In which case, I shall bravely just punch it. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't realize this. Wow, actually... Mr. X can fucking book it when he's just falling. <laughs> so we can thankfully face plant our way through. Don't have to walk all the way. We can just careen downward. If we run into a Shelly, I will courageously punch it in the face and flee. How are you going to get back up? Uh, with the power of determination and jump jets. Watch out. Watch out, monkey. I don't want to RK you here. <laughs> or RKO, pardon me. If I can face plant my way through life, uh, Mr. X can absolutely crush it. Fucking clothesline the monkey. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good thing we made that depth module. Uh, otherwise, we would have lost our bronze suit. There we go. Oh, hello. You know what? I don't know what you do, but I'm taking one of you with me as a souvenir. I'm going to turn the music off. <laughs> it's getting a little bit distracting. Uh, oh, there's an egg down there, I think. What are you? Well, wherever you are, you're coming with me. I'll take your brother, too. We'll figure that out, I guess. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can I punch you? Can I just drill you and kill you? I, I think I am killing you. I will, I will, I am perfectly fine with waiting to see if I can kill you. Probably not. Uh, it doesn't look like it's happening, but at least I can just walk through them now. They know their place when they see Mr. X stomping about. Okay. Go, be, being a little bit more serious now, I need to find my way over to the artifact. Um, it was down below me. The Discord was mad at me the entire run I did because I kidnapped the pangling and kept it the entire game. <laughs> Jenny, put the child back. Jenny, the child isn't yours. It has a family, Jenny. It isn't just an egg abandoned in a cave. It has a family and it is angry at you. Is this it over here, or is this back down to where I just... Oh, no, no, there it is. Okay. Yeah, nope. That is our, that is architect tech. We are heading the right way. Hold together, Mr. X. Hold together. I believe in you. With the power of determination, you will defeat the crush depth. Oh, hello. How you doing? If you're going to come over here, I'm, I'm just going to punch you in the face. Go away. Yep, yep, okay. Got, got your zap in. You got, you got your zap in. Oh no, I'm so afraid. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh wait, shit. Uh, hold on a minute. Alan, can you help me out here? Oh, thanks buddy. Appreciate it. That, 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 okay. Apparently Mr. X just cannot go through there. All right, that's fine, I can swim. 
I have legs. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Ancient ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is baked up by carbon uh, by carbon dating. Plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of cells and transforms them in a, uh, to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display amongst other alien artifacts suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. Uh, can I take any of these with me? Nope. How about you? Can I take you with me? Unfortunately not. Is my inventory full? Nope. I just can't take you. This looks important. It is not. I have been bamboozled. Oh, here we go. Architect component. A dense synthetic skeleton structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal material would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. This skeleton has very dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. See, again, I think one of the strengths of the game, this is one thing I'll at least say, I think one of the strengths of the game is the conversations between Alan and Robin. Particularly Alan, just because, like, he's the unfamiliar of the two, so he's got the more interesting stuff to say, but I legitimately find their conversations actually, like, interesting to listen to. Particularly when they started talking about the differences between how- <coughs> between how architects and, um... Oh, Nicole, hang on. How architects and humans see the world and alone- uh, being alone and all that, it's- Ow, you bitch! You were waiting, you were waiting! I don't like you for that. You can go to hell. I need nickel, so go screw thine self with the sharpest implement available to you at this point in time. Uh, anything else here? Nope. Back in Mr. Rex, don't you do it. I see you, I see you. I see you there. You, 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 gonna, you gonna try anything? You gonna try anything, bitch? You gonna? You gonna? You gonna? You gonna? Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck the fuck off. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to find down here. Uh, hi, wall squid shark. How you doing? Good to meet you too. We will have our customary handshake. Very hostile handshake and then be on our way. These might be important. Using it, yep. I'll take your entire stock. Okay, time to find my way back out. And I really do mean find my way because Jesus, this place is a bit confusing. Yeah. Okay. And we're out. Excellent. Okay. All right. Back to the music. Mr. X's commute back home begins. Actually, since we've got him out, uh, yeah, let, let's go check out the other artifact. Since we're out and about, may as well go check this one out. Hello, Squid Shock. Pardon me. <laughs> it's very easy to tell when I hit a particular fish out here because it sounds like I hit a squeak toy mid-flight. Oh, hello. I think it's no longer a long trek music. I think now it's uh, quiet time. An active volcano detected nearby. Thank you. Hello there, friend. How are you doing? You are kind of in my way, you know that? So I'm going to need you to just not turn around or come this way. You know what? Farewell. Good good day. I no longer exist. I am outside your aggro range. Farewell and good day. Okay, okay. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Hmm. 
Oh, what is below us? I can't see. Oh, it's just a, it's just a singular chamber. We're fine. Oh, those be ion cubes, though. Eh. Hold on a minute. Important. What do we have here? A ground sampler. So these are just to uh, build up to where until I can actually track down other pieces of Alan's body or soon to be body. Okay, so we have the skeleton. We still need to find the tissues and the organs. I hope you all enjoyed our little trip down here because we're not coming back. Hang on, I might need to Skyrim my way up this mountain. Um, well, that's awkward. There we go. Okay. Hello, friend. Let me just uh, lock onto my home base. I'm just going to let you pass over me. I may have to punch it. There's a strong possibility that I may need to punch it because it is currently in the way of me getting back to my base. Uh, you, you gonna keep going that way? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hop up and continue on my way. You have a good day, sir. If you come this way, though, uh, you are taking your own. You are taking your life into your own hands. Just warning you. Actually, in my hands, my very big plasteel lined hands, and a drill for good measure. Okay, good. Glad we understand each other. Good day. Two artifact locations down. I think we had some more as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is once we get the artifacts, they don't like stop being marked, but I think that's the only one we haven't gotten yet. Uh, N6M. I think. Yeah, okay. It does automatically stop marking them if you are currently marking them. Don't come near me, or your teeth will be located outside your skull very quickly. Now I'm gonna get this here lithium and you're gonna leave me alone. Do I need to repeat myself, bitch? Uh, docking my- oh, hey, that's actually what I do need. That's for the sea... prawn suit. That's the actual word for it, Seth. Not the sea- it's the prawn suit, not the sea suit, the prawn suit. <laughs> sea suit oh why is my brain this and there should be more pieces of it around here somewhere if not here then it's probably down where i just jumped over so let's go take a look down there real quick there's probably some goodies well if i had to assume and it's absolutely not a death trap in waiting i don't know what could possibly give you that impression Definitely nothing bad down here. <laughs> I don't know why you would think there would be. Oh, yes, indeed. You're the ones being paranoid and uh, anxious, chat. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, there's another uh, artifact. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Ah, fucking. Well, let's see what we got here. A fossil excavator. Based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an uh, archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remnants. The main body of the equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it. When it bounces back with a possible fossilized object, it begins the excavation process. A set of lasers emit from the arms and slowly removes the micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same carefully calibrated lasers are utilized to break <gasps> loose materials <clears throat> while preserving, preserving, preserving the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating and other methods to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago, which can be compared to current data to look for trends. Very efficient. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing to investigate there, but there is... That's an awful lot of fanfare for a singular ion cube, but then again, these things do have a shit ton of power. So maybe it was necessary. I don't think I need this many. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, is this a, okay, one more piece of the docking module, good. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, I think we're closing in on the lair of the Shadow Leviathan, so I should probably be very, very cautious how much deeper I dive here. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that looks about right. So, we won't be going that way just yet. Uh, let me go, let me just find, or at least attempt. Where's the fuck are those other modules? kind of need those. 
for progression and to take mine uh, prawn suit with me without needing to uh, hibbledy pibbledy fucking stomp my way across the land and take and just like increase my travel distance by about or travel time by more than double hang on a minute uh the heck, whoops nope you saw nothing there was nothing here you saw nothing well now you'll never see anything ever again modules any uh there's one yep that's the rest of the docking uh fragments that i needed of course you'd be right there uh sleeping module is still somewhere around here i'm not sure if i exactly need that but it's nice to have nope that's the docking fuck okay now that i no longer need the docking one that's the only one you're giving me huh i see how it is Daddy, can we go home? <laughs> no, I need to find the fucking module. Module. <laughs> I need to find the module. <laughs> oh, God. Why is my brain like this? You got anything useful for me, sea monkeys? Oh, you do, actually. Did that finish it? I'll contemplate within my heavily plastio-lined uh, exoskeleton. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. So we can make that now. I don't have the afterburner upgrade for the sea truck yet, but we can at the very least make my sea truck faster. Whoa, watch out! <laughs> Look, it's not my fault because I say it isn't. That's how this works, right? I exonerate myself of all responsibility for my own wrongdoings by claiming that I didn't know it was a wrongdoing and that it therefore it is not my fault. That's crap. That's metal salvage. Those are not fragments. That's just for getting titanium. Once again, Squid Shark's proving that they do not care at all about the limitations of physics. Yeah, I think we'll go. We'll go ahead and head home. Make the uh, the docking module at the very least to improve our long range travel capabilities, and then at some point make more depth modules. Winced, winced. Yes, winced. I find them. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh. Oh, hey, we have something else we can make. Hey, nice. All right, and then back we go. All right, and up we go. Lift thine self into infinity. Hello, Croc Shark. I know it's not what you're called, but it's what I'm calling you now. Listen, friends, no. And we'll give you the fiercest boop if I have to with my fist. I do love watching my prawn suits shadow. It's like I just imagine the, you know, the A pose or the reference pose from uh, Team Fortress 2. Um, I just imagine that that's what it looks like. It, it's the same. It is the exact watching the uh, the C. I did it again. The prawn suit jump up out like this is the exact same kind of energy as watching a uh, an A posed character jump up out in or just run about in Team Fortress 2. <laughs> it's that it's that same kind of menacing energy. <laughs> Okay, nearly back. Most of today was just gathering materials and uh, tracking down more artifacts. We shall be doing more of that later, I'm sure. Okay, I gotta let Mr. Rex rest. He's done, he's done a lot of walking. He's gotten his walk in for the day. Time to let him take a load off. After I repair him, I should have done that first. I don't think I can repair it while it's docked. Oh, never mind, I can't. Good. Alrighty, let's see what else we can make here. We can make the horsepower upgrade, and I actually can do that right now. I have a advanced wiring kit just kind of sitting around gathering dust, and we have lubricant as well. First of all, though, obviously, I need to uh, offload the lithium and the gold. There we are. I'll go ahead and slap this thing in there, then uh, take a trip up to our vehicle construction thingamabobber make ourselves the new module. Ooh, the Northern Lights. I do legit like it when the weather isn't super crazy and you just get moments like this where you can stare up at the skybox because legit, the sky does look really nice in this game. Until this happens and you can barely see it. And then it gets even worse when it starts snowing like fucking, yeah, like this. And then it starts lightning. Let's check what all I got stored on the truck. There's all the iron cu uh, iron cubes. There's where I, this here's where I keep all my iron cubes. That's, that's what you call them there things, right? I miss when these broke apart into like four pieces. 
I really do miss that. That was really nice. And silver, don't need that. Magul. Yep, that's that's the new meme from today. Magul. Now, this is not going to fall on the iceberg, correct? Um... Well, I don't know where this... I don't know where this is going. Uh... For science? Well, that's convenient. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Huh. Huh, we uh, <laughs> may have an issue here. <laughs> uh, ow! Fucker, that was the least opportune time for you to be a dick. Well, this is a problem. Hmm. How far back did I save? Uh, four minutes. That's not that bad. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you, uh, you see nothing, chat. <laughs> Only you could do this. Look, I don't know what you're talking about everything's fine the game is the one at fault here not me where am i oh wait um hold on <laughs> you saw nothing chat <laughs> you saw nothing i am amazing at this my job and everything i do I i'm flawless absolutely fucking lutely flawless there is not a single person on this earth who is more immaculately amazing at this game than I am. I get it, chat. I get it. I get it. Y you can't... You don't know how to comprehend the face and behavior of true brilliance. I understand. It's fine. Being humbled is a very, very odd feeling. We all have to deal with it at some point, except for me because I am just that amazing. But if I wasn't, then I would be in the exact same situation as you are currently. <laughs> so, uh, lead. <clears throat> right. Uh, <laughs> need a bit more lead in table of coral. Moving right the fuck along. <sighs> we got, a, uh, we got shit to do. We got, we got stuff to build. Come on now. Let's get, let's get back. We got, we got to go do stuff. We got to build stuff. We got to go explore. Got to build a body. Got to bury the past of my wrongdoings behind me. Any more lead? Nope. Cool. Fuck you too then. We're all good. You know why? Because we just are. There you go. That's the only that's the only bit of reassurance you need. Anyway, um, <laughs> um what else did I need again? Uh I needed that plasteel ingot. Alright, so now now, hey, I I see an issue here. Uh, it's, it's an issue that only an idiot wouldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, who in their right mind would put the mobile vehicle bay there and not expect it to cause issues? <laughs> Probably was this brute shark. Can't even swim properly, the poor thing. Ah, uh, you know, sometimes nature's just cruel like that, but it's okay. It'll find its way in life, I'm sure. You see, this is a much better spot, right here. And very clearly, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, goddamn machines. They don't they they don't work right even when you tell them to. Hey, listen, buddy. <laughs> Look at this stupid fucking thing. Not knowing the correct way it's supposed to go. There we go. Alright. There's the docking module. Well, this is gonna take a while to get down there, but uh, we'll go ahead and start shoving. Uh, pardon me. Just gotta maneuver this uh, big old boy down there. And now we make our aquarium. Absolutely worth it. All of that extra time was worth it. <laughs> extra time. What am I talking about? Nothing else happened today. That's 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 fine. Completely fine. Yep. Okie dokie then. And now our truck is complete. Mostly. We still got more modules to get, but uh, it's complete uh, for now. To commemorate such a, a momentous occasion, fuck Sky Rays. And, uh, um, oh, I'm assuming uh, I need an actual alien 
uh, the, 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 the thing, you know, an alien room thing, whatever it was called, containment facility. Uh, so in that case, this was kind of pointless. Oh, well. Uh, well, since I'm here, there are two other things I can make. I can make the control room and I can make a second room for our base. So let's just go ahead and take all of our titanium out. Oh, this is going to hurt. And slap this right there. Habu. Look at that. Nice and big. It is a big boy. We'll also probably add a, a see-through roof on top of this after we make our control room. Maybe. We'll see. It's quite expensive to do that. Probably not at all a terrible idea to have this on top of the room where my nuclear reactor is. <laughs> Absolutely not a bad idea. But just in case, we're actually going to put it here. In the control room, you can change base lighting and colors, rename your base, and see information about power and structural integrity. But not the integrity of societal power structures. Thanks, PDA. Thank you. There we are. And let's go take a look-see. Welcome. And now we rename our base to the worlds. The worlds. Oh, wait, to the world. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, the worlds. I can't fit it all in there. Shit. Oh, God. We'll say slowest truck. There we go. That works. And uh, we're going to make it. I'll, de I'll decide on an actual color later. Uh, yeah, just a neat old control room. It is quite nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I can think to do for now. We'll do more later, I'm sure. Uh, what do I need to make that alien containment thing, my Bob? We'll go ahead and set you back. Uh, oh, it's bigger this time, I forgot. We'll go ahead and set you here. I also realized I need a hatch. An aquarium just for looks or your own personal sushi factory. You decide. <laughs> wow. Okay, PDA. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't it lovely? Now we can let our babies grow. Look at them. They'll get there someday. All right. I'm gonna go put the other eggs in there. Haboop. And a haboob. Okie dokie then. That is all I'm doing for today, ladies and gentlemen. Made a bit of progress. A lot of it was just grinding. But you know what? That's fine. It's the nature of the game. So thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Do hope you still had fun. I do still enjoy this game. I'm going to give my throat a rest. Because ow, my throat's killing me right now. And maybe, just maybe go take a nap. And I shall see you all later. Good night, everybody. If you want to catch these streams way before they appear on YouTube, then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash Sathorvan. I stream every weekend, and I would love to see you there. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, then be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.